previously on Merryweather. May at least a few of us survive, though we probably won't. Um, <laughs> oh, Merryweather Lewis, the most awkward man in America. To my mind, there is really only one man for the job. Well, do not keep me in suspense, sir, but sir, whom do you have in mind? William Clark. You say she was your former commanding officer. Are you sure you will condescend to being your subordinate? I do not wish to ask Mr. Clark to be my subordinate. I wish to ask him to be my co-captain. You wish to avoid the voyage of discovery to have two captains then? Yes, sir. I know it is highly irregular. To say the least, the gall of it. I won't stand for it. Sir, this is an adventure of the likes of which the world has never seen. The novelty of the situation constantly will require quick thinking and innovation, but if Mr. Clark does not hold equal rank with me, he may be more reluctant to speak his mind. Very well, Mr. Lewis. Against my intuition, I shall petition Congress to appoint Mr. Clark as a captain. So, I love that Amer America. <laughs> a blank canvas. Against his better judgment, President Jefferson condescended to my request to make Clark co-captain like of voice. this expedition. Congress, however, had other designs. They, oh. in their infinite wisdom, appointed Clark at the rank of lieutenant, even though mm. I have already promised Clark a captaincy. So now, as I join my old friend at Camp Dubois, I am burdened by the fact that our happy reunion must be tarnished with this bad news. I'm liking that voice. I'm going to try to do that, I guess. I don't know. I'm liking my... My stuffy, um, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever voice I've been doing this entire time doesn't make any sense. William Clark reporting for duty, sir. Ha! There'll be no need for such formality between us and my old friend. I am extremely happy with your company. It's strange how Providence works. I feel it is only yesterday when I was command your commanding officer when we served under General Wayne. The Chosen Rifle Company, how could I forget our tour of service under the oh, Mad Anthony? And now we stand before me, a captain of the United States Army, a personal secretary to the President of the United States. I owe you a great debt of, to, for the success of my career. You are the finest officer I've ever known, bar none. Clark is embarrassed, but not displeased with your words. Let's hope I have not forgotten how to live the life of a soldier during my retirement from the Army. Speaking of the army, has the Senate sent you my letter of commission? It has, but I have bad news. What is it? Congress would not appoint you the rank of captain. They would only go as far as commission you as a lieutenant. I see. This will not stand. I am not going until I get that captainship. Clark is suddenly somber. Morale dropped high. Well, I would awesome morale a second ago, apparently. I'm sorry, I don't... I, I, I know I, I did all I could to secure you the rank of captain. It's beyond my control. So I'm to be your lieutenant then? I offered you a commission of captain. I told you you'd be equal in every way. And so it shall be. And so it shall be. Congress is being logical. You're not fit for captain. A man like you, no, sir. And this is what we'll tell the men. But that's impossible. And so it shall be. You are a captain as far as I'm concerned. Congress, be damned. Are you sure, Captain? I'll do my duty no matter what the country asks me. I'm sure, my friend. I know no other man. I shall know you by no other rank than Captain, and that is final. Clark smiled. It is because of your great sense of honor and justice I agree to partake in this adventure in the first place. Thank you, Captain. Captain, 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 Captain. Captain? Dauntless! Dauntless! No, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Captain! Captain! Let's waste no more time discussing politics. I think our first office of duty is to build a camaraderie among the men. Captain agreed. Any ideas of how to? Well, well, Captain, aside from whiskey and brawling, nothing brings soldiers together more than more quickly than a little friendly competition. Yes, Captain. Just like the drills of Matt Anthony developed. That's a terrible loss. Captain, though, it's uh, a little irregular. I think you should compete as well. I want the men to bond with us as much as each other. With whom shall service judge then? One of the sergeants, I think, Captain. Captain, Sergeant Floyd is doing his duty as quartermaster and cataloging our supplies right now. I'd rather he were not distracted. Sergeant, Captain, Sergeant Cordero, Ord 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 Ordway will take over as captain if both of us perish. So it is, <laughs> we'll be captain if both of the captains perish. So it is important to bond with, he would bond with the men too. That leaves Sergeant Pryor to preside over the game's captain. Very well, Captain. I will speak with him. 
and also check on Floyd and review the supplies myself. After all, our lives will depend on them. Yep. Sunset. Captain? 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 Prior to be judge. Hello, sir. Oh, there you go. Can I try, can I treat John about cheap stuff? Badge. Private. You have some, uh, agu. Agu. Treatment for agu. Green. No. Oh. Treatment for agu is red. Okay, that's not very helpful. Let's check if it is indeed in this column. So it's not green. We know that. It could be yellow. Okay, so it's not yellow. And so it's got to be one of these reds. Great. This is terrible because I have a 50-50 chance of losing right here. Hey, we got it. Gold means this bottle here's two traits, color and row, with the correct medicine. Um, administer medicine or do no harm. Wait a second. You choose to administer a bottle. If you're unsure, it's better to do no harm. I'm, I'm not unsure. It shares two traits. It's got to be... Oh, wait a second here. Hold on a second. Did I group think into thinking it's the same column? Because red could have been any column then. I just... I just... I just... It's this one here. Can I select that one? Administer medicine. It has to be that one. Your patient is feeling much relieved. Ah, we got it. Okay, so we get all those hints, and then we can pick. That's good to know. Rubenfield. Ah, I love his sandwiches. Guns. Ooh. Ooh, muskets. Read Rush. Oh, my God. I can read all that. Books are for learning folk. Open skill tree. There we go. All right. So we have three points available in uh, leader, two points in soldier, six points in diplomat, and uh, six points in scientist. Uh, unlocks telescoping spyglass. Unlocks fetch. Your dog can retrieve sticks and birds. Uh, let's do uh, spyglass. I like that. Diplomat gets extra whiskey or haggler. Adds an additional option when trading. Uh, let's add whiskey barrel to the camp. Yeah, let's do that. Whiskey. Whiskey flows like wine around here. All right. Let's continue on and uh, visit prior to be the judge in our little small competition here. Use tab. We scroll wheel. Uh, oh, there we go. Hello. Hello, doggy. I see you. I see you. Hello, dog. Cool. Oh, we can zoom in. Oh, that's nice. I see you, doggy. Semen. <laughs> Why is the dog's name Semen? William Bratton. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good day. Good day. Good day. So it's kind of a southernish twang, like a Tennessee kind of accent for uh, Lewis here, if you like. I don't know. I have to look, look at where he's from. There's Captain Clark. Hey, Captain. 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 Uh, George Dool Drool Juilliard. Sir? Sir? Woof, woof. Where is my people? Where's my people? William Bratton. This is going to be an adventure for a lifetime. Oh, probably over here. No, 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 no. Oh, maybe over there. I can uh, sprint also. Hello. John Cutler. Coulter. Coulter. Sir, Eddie is a private culture. You are a man we have put in charge of our horses, is that correct? Correct, sir. I expect pack horses will be vital to us as, as food and water. We got two horses, okay? Excellent. You seem to have a real affinity for horses. For all animals, really, sir. Speaking of which, there's a beautiful dog you have here, sir. Thanks you. That's Lancia Newf that's a Lancia Newfoundland I bought in Pennsylvania. What's his name? Seaman. That's Seaman Stan. Seaman. <laughs> Fine name for a water dog such as this one. He's a wonderful animal. You can tell he's smart and friendly. Newfoundlands usually are. I expect he'll be a great boon on our voyage. Yes, sir. And maybe you'll let me take him out sometimes, too? A dog lover, are you? Yes, sir. Sometimes for animals to people. Well, of course, in most situations that's fine, but uh, not all situations. Provided Seaman here likes you most <laughs> as much as you seem to like him. Seaman looks at you and to each of you turn tongue lolling. Obviously hoping one of you will play with him. Oh, well, go play with the dog then. Get out of here. Go. Go fetch. John, go fetch. John, can I call you John? No, sir, you cannot. Oh, okay. Captain. Captain, not sir. Moses Reed. 
One driver Reed sees you approach, he attempts to stand up straight. He's obviously drunk, he can hardly keep from falling over. Oh, hello, Captain. Uh, I mean, Sir Captain Merriweather, Captain, Captain Merriweather, Captain Merriweather Lewis. Formula charge Reed with drunkenness. Dress him down. Make fun of Reed. What are the bed rest for Reed? Dismiss Reed from the Corp of Discovery. <laughs> Reed snickers under his breath. Uh, formally charge him with drunkenness. I will not stand for it. Here, sir, I hereby charge you with the infraction of being in a state of inebriation while on duty. How do you plead? Oh, I ain't drunk, Captain. Not any yet, anyway. I can still drink a bit more. Uh, you will have an extra shift of latrine duty for the next five days. Uh, mind you, I'm being merciful since we just starting this voyage together. Uh, the next time I catch you or any man drunk while on duty, the consequences will be most grievous. Do you understand, Private General Grievous? With a shaky salute. Yes, sir. Report to your tent and return to duty once you have sobered up. Have some coffee. Have some coffee. Little bit of eggs and toast. So we'll be right up. McNeil! Good to see you, sir. Tap one of these barrels before we should pop one of these maples before leaving. We'll be we'll be craving sweet things out in the wilderness. You got a creepy voice there, McDeal. I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> these just come to me. As I said, no two voices will ever be the same except for when I'd use the exact same voice for two of the same people in the same conversation. As has always often happened already in this playthrough so far. Um God, where where are we going? I know. Spyglass. Not you. You there. You there. Get back here. Oh, hello. Shields. John Shields, soldier and blacksmith at your service, sir. Some of these guys do sound drunk when they their voices. It's fine. George Gibson. Hope it ain't bragging to say I feel like I'm a hero right now. You're gone anywhere, man. Fired. You're fired. Everyone's get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. None of these men are fit for duty. York! Anything needs to let me know? Yes, sir. Will do. You have a, sh a shooting thing here. Uh, I feel like I've gone everybody. Clark, give you... You know where I'm supposed to go? Like, why are my men so spread out? Why don't they come to me? Oh, we already got a guy. Got a guy here. Hello, guy. Oh, Charles Floyd. Here we go. Greetings, sir Charles Floyd. Sergeant in the United States Army. I'm your quartermaster at your service. Good to meet you, Sergeant. As Quartermaster, no man will do more to keep us alive than you. Food, shelter, guns, bullets, tools, and the gifts for the Indians. On these things, our lives depend. I hope you understand the gravity of our duty. I do, sir. You only, you only have to go hungry once in your life to know you never want to go hungry again. I have taken liberty of combining the supplies you brought with you from Captain Clark's. I'm ready to review them with you at your command, starting with food and drink. Uh, you have made my life a little easier. You are meticulous and detailed. You've made my life easier. Uh, being this organized, you allow me to concentrate on my duties as captain, allowing me to be more effective. And I will benefit the entire unit. Let us inspect our supplies. Yes, sir, we will be hunting and foraging for most of our meals, but these are com 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 comestibles we are taking with us. Love comestibles. There's a little fun little, uh, those the fun little, uh, sandwiches with a crust cut off. With the peanut butter and jelly right inside of it. Are we are we carrying enough food and drink, do you think? Tough to say, sir. On one hand, I've, I'd rather bring too much than too little. On the other hand, other, we have 193 pounds of portable soup. And there are only two reasons a man would willingly eat that stuff. Either he is starving to death or he be because he is suicidal. Uh, you will sorely be glad of that soup when you find yourself cold and hungry in the middle of the wilderness, Sergeant. If you say so, sir. Frankly, my larger concern is the amount of spirits we are bringing. Too little, you think? That is for you to decide. I know for certain we will not have enough to last us the entire mission. We have six five-gallon kegs of whiskey. And we add water. Each keg will yield 30 gallons. Three, 30 gallons. Standard daily ration of whiskey is a quarter of a pint a day. Given the size of our unit, will 180, 180 gallons of spirits will last us half a year. That's before we trade any whiskey to the, to the natives. I will take this under advisement. Perhaps we should look at the gifts we are bringing to the natives next. Yes, please follow me, Captain. 
Where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to about stuff? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him too. Okay, let's all talk to everybody. Race you, race you, race you, race you, race you. Okay, I got it. We have handkerchiefs and silver armbands, pipe tomahawks, and knives, none so pretty silks, none so pretty silk ribbons, white wampum, fish hooks, mirrors, thimbles, peace medals, and over 30 pounds of beads of various colors, among many other gifts to the natives. York here has been helping me organize the gifts. Your name is York. You're not one of Captain's slaves, are you not? Yes, sir. I've been talking to Master Clark's manservant since we were both boys. He must think highly of you if he has you cataloging our supplies. With good reason, sir. York here is smart as a whip. I think he's going to be helpful on the journey. Oh, York, are you going with us? Yes, sir. Mr. Clark wants me to come. Uh, you aren't strong enough for this journey. I trust Captain P Clark implicitly. Regulations allow it, I suppose. Bringing you is a terrible night. What? Uh, the only one good here one is, uh, we need dependable men. I, wouldn't, I mean, I need to purge melancholy on somebody. I also need to load my, my grief on somebody here eventually. I'm not going to do it on him, obviously. But uh, I trust Captain Clark implicitly. If Captain Clark chosen you to bring you, it is because he thinks you will contribute greatly to the cause. Therefore, I am most glad Captain Clark decided to make you part of this adventure. York seems most pleased by your words. That's powerful kind of you, sir. With your permission, I will get back to work now. Good idea. Let us all return to work. Sergeant Floyd, if you were talking about gifts, do you think we are bringing enough of the journey? Well, sir, we have great many gifts. At the same time, Captain Clark believes we need more. He believes the generosity in our part will go far in helping us accomplish our mission. I can't say I disagree. Understood. We will think on that. In the meantime, shall we have a look at our armaments? We have four guns for three people. No, we have the opposite. We have like uh, four guns and like a dozen people. Well, there's our rum, I think. Is that armaments? I'm gonna talk to this guy while we're, while, while we're uh, well, we have another one here. Use a tent to get some rest. Um, press G to camp on the ground. Minus one morale. Jesus, is it getting late? It goes without saying every volunteer has his personal weapons and equipment. In addition, we have 15 extra short rifles, power horns, slings, cartouche boxes. Cartouche boxes. We also have plenty of flint, flints, flocks, and parts for numerous repairs. A gun is of little use without bullets. Yes, sir. I don't think we need to worry about running out of bullets anytime soon. We have 420 pounds of sheet lead, plus 52 lead powder canisters and 15 bullet molds. A pound of lead will yield about 15 bullets, so assuming we shoot 10 unrecoverable bullets a day, seven days a week, which is high, we would have ammunition for almost two years. We have other supplies, sir, but those are the most important ones. Food, gifts, and guns. Indeed, we should not be worthy of the title of explorers if we need to carry much more than that. Speaking of carrying, Private Jones Coulter has been tending to the horses. Yes, I already spoke with him. He helped me name old seaman here. Wait, he helped you name the dog? I didn't know there was a, a, we're picking a brand new name. Why was he called Seaman before? Seaman. Excellent. So, Captain, based on his, he's a really uh, big, uh, it's like a Saturn fan, I think. So, excellent, Captain. Based on his inventory level, review, are there any adjustments you wish to make for our equipment? Uh, more guns and ammo. Uh, more of each. I mean, I don't think we need more ammo. Uh, more whiskey and food would be good, but I can't pick that. I need to unload. I need to unload this on somebody here. We just need to like haul off and just speak our mind pretty soon here. This is basically how I operate in the real world too. I like I like say the right answer, right answer, right answer, right answer, and then at some point I need to just unload everything I've been building up and one just vile attack on someone. <laughs> Not kidding. Um, let's say three gifts. More gifts, please. If we make peace with all the native people we encounter, every other aspect of our journey will be easier. Let us make sure we have secured their friendship with gifts. Yes, sir, I suppose I will add those supplies, uh, supplies to our supplies. Sergeant Floyd, I'm tremendously impressed with your work here. You, you, with men like you joining us, we cannot help but succeed in our mission. You are too kind, sir. I swear I'll do my best for you until my last dying breath. Oh, God, and that's foreshadowing you. Floyd is like a dead man. Floyd is a dead man. I'm calling it right now. He is a dead. All right, use a tamp, can't, tamp, tent or camp fire to get some rest. Press G to spend a miserable night in the cold on the muddy ground. Exhausted. Exhausted. Uh, let's get to a camp site here, so I am not exhausted any longer. Will my melancholy, uh, repair itself when I'm no longer exhausted? This is the question. Uh, sleep in a tent. Clear, cold, wet, safe. Wait. Clear, cold, wet, safe. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Okay, we're getting way too dark to actually operate here. 
Pryor's report. Current mission. Ask Pryor to be a judge. Ration. Bonus ration. I deserve the best. Ration. All right. First night, we haven't gone anywhere. We're about to organize a sporting event of some kind, and that seems like a great way to spend our time. Uh, I'm sure the president will be very happy that we're spending an extra day before leaving to uh, waste time on this. It'll, it's an excellent decision, Captain Clark. Excellent decision. That's why we keep you around. Nathaniel Pryor. Pryor conviction. Oh, that's a good, that's a good pun. It is a pleasure to meet you, Sergeant Pryor. The honor and pleasure are all mine, sir. Pryor seems strangely nervous. Is something troubling you, Sergeant? Me, sir? No, no, sir. I'm just excited to meet you, is all. Not every day you talk to the Secretary of the President of the United States. Quit your bootlicking. <laughs> I thought I need to release it in some way. Don't be so sentimental. Quit your bootlicking. Quit your bootlicking. That uh, restores it. Okay, like I said, gotta, gotta haul off at somebody here. Sergeant, if there's anything I cannot stand in my men, it's frivolous flattery. It is unmanly and undignified. Undignified, sir. Yes, undignified. If you would be so kind, speak plainly to me from now on without the tiresome ornaments of hollow praise. You understand me? You left Pryor flabbergasted and speechless. Do you understand me, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. On to business, then. Captain Clark and I wish to help the member of the Corps bond by running a few contests. I was thinking a shooting match and a foot race. I wish to make you the... I wish you to make the arrangements. He seems too afraid to respond. Sergeant, do you understand? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shooting match and a foot race right away, sir. Hmm. I might have scared this man. Hmm. 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 Well, go. Yes, sir. I'll get started right away. Okay. Are we sure we want to bring Briar with us? <laughs> Are we sure I picked the right guy to haul off on here? Oh, man. The, this this is going to come back to haunt me. The bootlicking thing here is just going to be like, just like for continually just, just nervous to talk to us. The dialogue in this game is fantastic. My voice aside here, the dialogue in this game is really, really fun. I'm really enjoying it so far. The writing is fantastic. And we haven't gotten anywhere yet. So I guess we've got to wait for them to organize their thing here. Meet them at the firing range, okay? All right. All right. We're ready to fire. Captain, 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 Captain. Where are you going, man? Okay, uh, Gibson. Here we go. Prior. Okay, gentlemen, this will be the our game's a shooting match. Here are the rules. There's a slab of upright, upright on a stump 200 yards away. This is your target. You get one shot. Your goal is to shoot the slab in the dead center. The winner gets a pair of red leggings, courtesy of our honorable captains. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. You gonna make dole yard shoot with a blindfold, keep things fair? Ben thinks this is hilarious. <laughs> oh man. I can sit out if you want. Don't see much point in shooting a hunk of wood. Oh man, dole yard, I like you. You are most certainly not sit out, Mr. Dole yard. When I sh win this competition, I do not want any lingering doubt as to who is the best shot in the core. That's just a cow captain should talk, big and bold. Now let's see who can back his up, see if he can back up his words, not just waggling his tongue. <laughs> when you are ready, gentlemen, you may line up behind the log and take your shot. Just one to equip rifle. <laughs> we can just, we can just shoot everyone with the back of the head. Oh my god! Hold on! Hold on! Let me get into position here. I walk up there. That's 200 yards away. <laughs> this is not 200 yards prior. You're really, you're really uh, helping us out here, I think. It's not 200 yards. I assure you. Boom! Dead center. Shoot the mock. Wait for everyone to shoot the mock. Put that away so I smack one of you guys with it. Been known to happen on occasion. Is everybody that's going to shoot like, okay, George Shannon. Don't shoot! Oh God! Don't you? Don't do it! Ugh. Okay, it was a close match. Captain Clark and Sergeant Floyd were off the mark by four inches. Drill yard was off only five eighths of an inch. But Captain Lewis, who shot the log a mere quarter of an inch from the center, wins our event. Really? A quarter of an inch from the center? And I'm a good shot. I had planned to give the winner a fine pair of red leggings, but I will not award the prize to myself, so I declare the leggings will therefore go to Mr. Drolliard in the recognition of his exemplary shooting. Very generous, Captain. 
our next event will be a foot race. We will start from the top of the hill and behind the target. I think it would be better to rules the if you, if you lose these things. Like I don't want to like show up my men. I want them to confidence like like you're a better shot than I. Uh, yada yada. Like I think maybe that would have been a better play here than like showing up all up. Then maybe get it. It's, it's all about like establishing who the alpha captain around here is. We're all gonna walk on top of each other. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the first. We. I'm gonna go over there first. I'm gonna be there first. We. Got it. You guys, slow pokes. Come on. Sitting there waiting around. Got the distinct advantage here. Oh, got now all tired from running too far. Shoot, I should have conserved. Nathaniel. Sergeant Nathaniel. Okay, gentlemen, time for the next event, the foot race. We will run from here to the flagpole at the 7th camp. No tripping loud. Anything else is fair game. Shooting is shooting loud. I just, I'm going to try it. Any questions? Hey, Shields, you won't care me be pig back around fish line, oh man? <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Coulter. But I'm already married. You'll have to try to woo one of these other fellas. Oh, man, Coulter. If we're done with married proposals, I advise you to test your... <laughs> priors. Okay, the prior, prior wins that round. If we're done with marriage proposals, I advise you to pick your mark. Okay, prior wins. Get ready. Get set. Go! Go! Run, run, run. I'm going to run to shift and run. I'm going to do my gun out and shoot it. I'm going to reload my rifle while running. God, this is this is insane. I'm going to reroll a gun while, while... Oh, God. Wait for everyone to catch up. Hold on. Let me reload my weapon here while I'm running. Shouldn't have shown them up by reloading here. Because we need... What do we need to do here? Uh, cock hammer, two. Oh, one. Reload a rifle. Okay, so I need to... Uh, here are our results. Captain Lewis has proven the fleetest of foot. Three cheers for Captain Lewis. Mary Sue Lewis. Well, our, <laughs> our competition for the day is you are just, this is our competition for today. You are dismissed. Wait, that's it? Just one thing we're getting fun. Just one thing we're getting fun. Level complete. A speed to proceed on. All right, moving on then. Proceed on. All right.